Hi there YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about a three-dimensional shape called a octahedron. I will also uh, show you how to make a model of one out of card. Now an octahedra is a eight-sided shape. It has 12 edges and six corners. Each face is an equilateral triangle, which means the length of each side is equal. So what does octahedron mean? Well, it comes from the Greek word oct, meaning eight, and hedra meaning many-sided. So you can think of an octahedra as being two square-based pyramids that are joined together. Now, an octahedra is a member of the platonic solids. So, a platonic solid is a type of regular polyhedra. Um, it derives from an idea by Plato. Now, Plato was a mathematician and philosopher who lived two and a half thousand years ago in ancient Greece in the city of Athens. He founded a school there called the Academia. Now, he had an idea that he could link a three-dimensional shape to one of the four elements so back then people believed there were four elements, so you had earth, air, water and fire. So the octahedra he linked with the element of air. Now you're thinking, hang on, there's four elements, but five <laughs> platonic solids, so what's the other? element. Well, it's the dodecahedra which he linked with the element ether. Now, ether is intangible. It's, you can think of it as emptiness, the space between all things. So, the element ether uh, is the space in which the platonic solids exist. Now, if you're a fan of role-playing games, it's possible you already own a octahedra. Uh, this is an eight-sided dice, or a d8. I got a six. So, an exciting property of platonic solids is that they share duality with another solid, except the tetrahedron, which has a duality with itself. So let me just uh, explain what duality is and how it works. Now, imagine if I was to draw a dot in the centre of each face of this octahedron, and it's to connect it internally with invisible lines. Now, that would make the shape of a cube inside the octahedron. If I was to do the same with a cube and join the lines internally, the dot on the centre of each face, it, it would actually create an octahedron. Mind-blowing, right? For the next part of the video, as you can see, I've got my drawing board up and I'm going to use it to create my own nets of a square-based pyramid and a octahedra. This is on light card and I'm going to use a ruler, a compass, an eraser, a pencil and a pen. So let's get creative. So step one, draw a vert sorry, a horizontal line across the centre of your page and just mark where you want the edges to go. 
Now place a compass on the end of your line and do this a bit wider actually. Swing at the top of the swing just so we have some marks there. Do the same on the other side and as you can see where the arcs cross we can now draw a vertical line. This is just a construction mark so uh, I'm doing this lightly. Right, let's move on to step two. Step two. Put the point of the compass in the centre where the two lines intersect. Just your compass so it lines up with the end of the line and swing the compass round in a complete circle. As you can see we've now got a circle that's been intersected into four portions. Let's move on to step three. Step three, we're actually making the square here. So what we do is we just join up where the lines intersect the edge of the circle. So there's one, two, three, four. Let's move on to the next step. Step four, we want to be making four equilateral triangles. So now just put the compass on each corner. Let's just uh, adjust this so it's exactly the length. Now what we want to do, we want to swing an arc here, put the point on the compass on the other corner, and swing up to create another arc. Let's do the same here. Find this doing doing this very therapeutic. Uh, Right, and we're there. So the final step now is to create the equilateral triangles. We're just joining up the corners of the squares with where the arcs intersect. As you can see, it's uh, taking shape already. Now, before we cut this out, um, I think it would be important to put tabs along the edges. Just helps us uh, when we're gluing this together. Right, and the last line is there. So, I'd do a tab here, a tab there, and there, and the final tab there. Right, I'll scan this um, and leave a link below so you can actually download and print out this net. But there you go, the net of the square-based pyramid. Obviously you'd need two of these to make the octahedron. Right, now let's see if we can do a net of an octahedron in one go. There's a challenge. So welcome back. 
So now we're going to be doing a net of a octahedron. So step one is to draw a horizontal line across the page just slightly below centre. Step two in the centre of the line place your compass and swing it round to create a central circle. The next step is to go to where the edge of your circle crosses the line and draw another overlapping circle. So now we have two overlapping circles. What we want to do now is just to do another where the line crosses the edge of the first circle. Swing the compass round. So now we have one, two and three overlapping circles. Now the next stage is we need some more circles. So <laughs> we're going to be drawing another two circles with the point of origin there and there. So let's do that now. The whole point of this is just to be creating hexagons which then we can very easily divide into our uh, equilateral triangles. Right, so there it is, that's the final circle. But as you can see we're still missing some gaps. So what we need to do is just create some more arcs. So very simple. And have we got enough there? So what we need now is three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One down there. And let's say we can do one up there. There's more than one way to do a net, but uh, this is the most economical, really. I mean, you don't want to use too much card. Right, so now it's a case of joining up all the lines. Right, so for this step is just to join up where they intersect. As you can see there's shapes within shapes here. There's a triangle there. We're going to be creating a inverted triangle here. And we'll uh, let that line go over there. And join this one up here. Let's just create uh, another equilateral triangle there. And down here. And is that one more line to go? Okay, so there's our basic net of the octahedron. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, draw some tabs so it's a lot easier for when it's uh, cut out. Now, this is a bit of a uh, mental spatial challenge, isn't it? Sure, I can work this out. So that's tab there, that would fold there, and dip, dip, dip. Yeah, I believe that's probably it. I mean, I might need to 
add another tab. Again, when I finish this net, I'll uh, scan it and I'll leave a link below so you can uh, download and cut out. Okay, so thanks for watching.